let's see. Can you give me some insight into SWR meters versus antenna analyzers or what to look for in the basic needs for a new ham? Uh, okay, so an SWR meter or SWR bridge, basically, as you transmit, that's going to measure your forward power you're sending to the antenna and the reflected power that's coming back from the antenna. And it'll give you that, that ratio of, of forward versus uh, reflected power. Uh, you can use the SWR bridge or meter to make you know, adjustments to your antenna, you know, transmit a little bit, look at the SWR, adjust the antenna, transmit, adjust the antenna, things, uh, things like that. So um, for decades, hams have used nothing more than an SWR bridge to um, adjust, you know, say, say like their dipole antenna. I hang a new dipole up in the air and then, you know, we'll use the SWR bridge in order to make and test transmissions so we can get it all, you know, get it all dialed in. Um, antenna analyzers, on the other hand, um, is, is a tool that uses a very low power internal transmitter. Basically, it's got an oscillator in it. It's sending a, it's sending a radio frequency into the antenna, and then it's measuring the result, and it's doing computations and showing you graphically what your antenna impedance is, it's um, SWR, standing wave ratios, also um, it's resonance, it's reactants, it can do a lot of, it can do a lot of stuff. Some of the fancy ones like the nano VNAs can show you Smith charts and that. And it's, it's, it becomes a tool in order to really understand how your antenna is operating and make those uh, more informed decisions on how you want to to adjust your antenna. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And SWR, remember, first of all, standing wave ratio really is only telling you what your feed line is doing from, mm -hmm. your, from your radio to your feed point. All right. Uh, we know what a dipole, the dipole uh, feed point is anywhere between 50 and 72 ohms, depending on what configuration we have the antenna in. Right, so you can use an SWR meter to reasonably tune it uh, mm -hmm. to get close to resonance. Resonance is not one to one SWR, though. How many times have I said that one, boys and girls? <laughs> um, a antenna analyzer will give you different information as, as well as SWR. It will tell you yeah. reactance and impedance. Yep. Uh, it will also give you some other information. Uh, do with it as you will. You can have a high SWR, but have low reactance and have a resonant antenna, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it depends on what you really want. I think just for every day you're transmitting, you're having a good time, uh, you watch your SWR meter. If yep. you're going to make antennas, you probably want an antenna. I think a good way to look at it is SWR meters are more of a station accessory. Um, like I've got this one sitting on my station. This is the Surecom um, SW28, but it's just uh, antenna transmitter, and it it displays you know what my forward power is, what my reflected power is, so I know you know it'll 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 signal to me if I'm running into a problem with my antenna system. Right, so basically, you, because bad, your antenna falls or you have bad coax. Mm -hmm. Any SW meter on your on your rig will let you know what's going on. Yeah, if you're running if you're running into a problem, and they're a good thing. You know, a lot of a lot of transceivers have SWR meters built right into them. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes an external station accessory can be helpful because it just makes it easier to monitor monitor those values. Mm -hmm. An antenna analyzer becomes a tool for. You know, if, if you're building antennas, you know, if you want to experiment with different antenna designs, uh, I take mine into the field when I'm setting up my portable antennas so I can sweep the antenna and make sure that it's all, everything is good, you know, and there's, there's no loose connections or anything like that. Uh, so um, that's probably, you know, if you're looking to um, build antennas, um, you want to learn more about it, how antennas operate, analyzers would be that next logical step. If you're building a new station, you don't necessarily need an analyzer for yourself because go to your club, network, big barrel and steel, somebody's got an analyzer and that, they will come over on a Saturday afternoon and you know, um, get you all set up on your home station. 
and then it's it's like a set it and a forget it kind of thing. Then you can then you can rely on your SWR meter for everything else. So um, the cheapest is the Nano VNA. What fifty seventy five dollars? A lot of people like got a learning curve, but um, it'll get you it'll get you going for inexpensive analyzers. The Nano the Nano VNA throws a lot of information at you if you're not mm -hmm. prepared for it. It may be a little too much. Uh, the rig experts we've been using those for a couple of years now, and oh my god, those are yep, those are a game changer. They're so much better than the old MFJ ones. Yeah, um, the they're graphical. They give you a pretty wide uh, broadband view of things. Um, if you got a couple hundred dollars, the rig experts are the way to go. Yeah, I got that rig expert stick I take into the field. It's a three hundred dollar tool, but um, it it's it's. It's paid for itself many times over um, yes. in 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 uh, testing antennas, deploying antennas, and demonstrating to everybody in, on, on video here. You know what your what the antenna is doing. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.